Honey, sometimes when you go to sleep, you go on a little walk. And sometimes you talk about a place. I don't remember. That's why we're going to go there. So you can remember. To be honest, the first time I read the script, I, I got through 10 pages and I was by myself in my apartment and I put it down because I was too scared to keep reading. follows a mother worried about her child sleepwalking who decides that she must take the child to visit a town which is a name the child keeps saying Silent Hill. Cher? She has an accident and waking up from that finds that she seems to have slipped into another dimension. Cher! That dimension is full of strange creatures, strange characters. Anybody? And a very strange and disturbing story. Christopher, Sharon's gone. I need your help. I'm not okay. Please, hurry. It's surreal and it's, it's, it's just different. The fire started 30 years ago. It's like something I've never been involved with before. Most horror movies create a specific fear that you should worry about. Silent Hill deals with all your own fears and amplifies them. Sharon? Honey? I don't know what's happening. Do you know what's going on here? This place is completely cut off. Only the dark one opens and closes the door to Silent Hill. Hey! Where is she? I'm trying to find my wife. A background for Silent Hill, a demon of some description, is a character in the film. Don't be afraid. She won't hurt you. I think Jodelle Ferlin is my new favourite actress. She's amazing to work with because she has the concentration of an adult. And you'll see her playing multiple characters in the film, and she does so with incredible ease. It's kind of like making three movies at once, because I play three different people. But it's not too hard to keep them separate. Who are you? I have many names. As Rose and Sybil make their way through Silent Hill, they confront a number of creatures. These creatures are all originally human. Even the ones who look like cockroaches were originally human. And they are all suffering for their sin. And they all represent a direct threat. But at the same time, they are slightly beautiful and completely revolting. Uh, I've been sort of um, grossed out a couple times on this movie, just because the demons are so brilliantly done. They are manifestations of what we would find disturbing. I generally like horror and that sort of genre, you know. I, I, uh... I'm quite looking forward to seeing this all put together because I think he's got a wonderful vision. It does cross some boundaries, it does break some rules, and only really talented people, I think, can break the rules. I think Silent Hill is going to create an entirely new subgenre. It is horror, it is suspense, it's an adventure movie to a certain extent because it's such a grand environment and it's such a huge world that just travelling through it is an adventure. Everything that you will see in this movie is unique. There is not a formula here. Most of the people will be interested to see Silent Hill because it's going to be a different experience. It's going to be different. <laughs>